Hey guys, Mortiman here, coming at you through the Immortal Portal, and in this video we're going to be talking about Resident Evil 3 Remake being delayed indefinitely. This was a struggle for me to actually want to make this video because of everything that's going on right now, and I don't want to be the bearer of more bad news, but this was a game I was really looking forward to, and I felt I should cover this, so let's get right into the details. Coronavirus explodes in numbers across America. COVID-19. Coronavirus. On COVID-19, the epicenter in the world. I'm pretty sure I don't need to introduce you guys to COVID-19. However, it pertains to this topic as the sole reason for this extreme delay. Due to the effect it has on the development of Resident Evil 3 and equally Resident Evil Resistance, Resident Evil 3 is literally two days from its original release date. However, it's been pushed back indefinitely due to several distributors being shut down as a part of the Social Distancing Act. And being they don't fall under essential businesses, the game can be distributed fairly, if at all. Even storefronts such as GameStop have closed hundreds of stores permanently due to the pandemic and though digital gaming is at its highest, you would think a game this close to release could do digitally, however, this is not the case for two reasons. First, the game isn't as close to release as we think it is. The open demo that was released on March 19th was the most polished piece of the game that Capcom really showcased outside of this demo. The game has fallen behind as some of the developers have chosen to stay home and take care of loved ones. Not only is the remake behind schedule, but so is the tie along Resident Evil Resistance, and more importantly, the servers have not been adequately set up with the exception of YouTubers in France who received several copies on March 3rd. So the game is not ready to handle the high volume of traffic that can occur due to those staying home hopping on for a few games with the boys. We've already seen streaming companies such as Netflix struggling with the exact issue of extreme high volumes of active users. It's truly heartbreaking to hear this news for any fans of the series, but personally, this hits hard because I've played Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 but never really got into 2 or 3. So for the second one to be remade was really an experience, but it feels like a tragedy not to receive the third one, at least for a while, until things are put back on track. And a game like this would have helped us immerse us into another world and get away from feeling so entrapped in our own homes and individual environments at this time. Going back to the incident with GameStop where the collector's edition is being exclusively sold out, it will no longer be available due to social distancing and only going out for essentials. I was one of those people who was planning to get the collector's edition. It was special because it would have been my first collector's edition ever and I had no doubt Resident Evil 3 should be my first. For now, we'll just have to wait and hope that no more games as well as movies get pushed back at this time. I myself and I know many others are extremely appreciative of those on the front lines of this pandemic and all they do to protect and provide for us. But equally as important as entertainment, Stanley had this had this Stanley had to say this about entertainment. I used to be embarrassed because I was just a comic book writer, but other people were building bridges or going on to do medical careers. And then I began to realize entertainment is one of those important things in people's lives. Without it, they might go off the deep end. I feel that if you're able to entertain people, you're doing a good thing. Prophet and I are actually having a podcast coming soon on how entertainment has been affected and will continue to be due to COVID-19. So I'll wrap this up and conclude by thanking the team at Capcom, although I've stressed this in this video, my concerns on it being delayed, but your safety and your health is your number one priority and I support this decision to put things on hold. Everyone stay safe, stay positive, and we'll catch you in the next one. Oh hey! You're still here! Stay home, stay home, there's, there's no more. Oh, we were expecting more. Little subscribe button or something like that? No, 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 no. We don't have that type of CPM here. It was an April Fool's joke anyway.